Today, we're doing roof cleaning do's and don'ts. First and foremost, what is on your roof? Look around on this roof. We got a number of things on it, such as leaf buildup, sticks, some lichen growth, and just some organic material from decaying leaves growing and moist up here. Why are those bad for your roof? Well, a lot of them can take away from the lifespan of your roof, and they're not really curb appealing at all for people. Uh, so let's talk about the do's and don'ts. The first don't is don't use a pressure washer. Pressure washers run at thousands of PSI, and chances are you're not gonna hold it perfect all the time. You're probably gonna get too close to the shingles with the risk of blowing off granules. It is a very, very bad thing to blow the granules off of your shingles, and you could end up cutting them, leaving marks, and loss of life. So don't use a pressure washer, please. Number two, don't use a rake, especially something that is metal and hard. That could do a similar thing to the pressure washer. It could scrape off granules, damage the shingles, etc. So now we're gonna talk about what to do when cleaning your roof. First off, a broom. A broom is your best friend in cleaning your roof. It's not gonna damage the shingles. It's gonna just swipe things on down. You can use varying levels of bristle stiffness and size of broom. So. Pick the right one for your job. Number two, you probably have a garden hose laying around. If you're confident enough to get on your roof, it sometimes helps that after you broom it off that you wash off some of the sediment that a broom is not gonna get. You could also use a leaf blower, but I wanna put a caveat on that, that you don't wanna use a leaf blower that is excessively high powered, such as a backpack blower or something like that. And if you are gonna do that with the leaf blower to blow off this debris, always make sure you're blowing down. Never blow up underneath the shingles. You don't want to push that sediment up underneath. You don't want to push any liquids up underneath and you do not want to damage your shingles. I want to talk about the safety. Don't do this if you don't feel safe doing it. If you don't feel comfortable, hire a professional to come and clean it off. It'll be worth the money. Just to be clear, North Face Construction does not do roof and house cleaning on the exterior. We like to refer people over to Extreme Clean Soft Wash. They'll be able to come on out and clean off your roof safely, efficiently, and effectively for all that mold, algae, and lichen buildup that you might have on it. So I hope today this video provides you value and gives you the confidence to clean off your roof if you feel safe enough to get on it and do these things. Once again, this is Josh with North Face Construction, and I look forward to seeing you next time.